calm, very, very restrained, very in control of, of the situation, or as much as he could stay in control, and as calm as he could remain. Uh, I remember uh, going, when we got to the set, uh, I'm walking around my office looking at the pictures that the uh, uh, set designers had put on the walls, and there was a picture of a graduation, and I'm, you know, I'm writing the stories that behind every picture, and uh, and then we, I remember we had dinner with Danny when he told me about his th that attitude of Talmudic justice, and I said, "Then Barney's Jewish?" He said, "Yes." I had to go back into the room now and give everybody else, give them new names, <laughs> you know. This, this was my Uncle Jack, who was, the, uh, uh, my, who was a cop and was my inspiration for becoming a cop. He's now Uncle Nathan, you know. I just changed, you know, <laughs> had to redo them to, to accommodate. Uh, I, I, I never did, I was never sure about Barney even as I started doing it, uh, until I recognized his, his function in the piece, and then you accommodate the character to the function. Uh, Barney was, the, uh, was indeed the, the, the comparison. The calmness in the storm, the sanity in the insanity, uh, the audience's I, if you will, I looked balefully at somebody's behavior in the name of the audience who would sit and watch it and look balefully at that behavior or, or whatever reaction. So I had, that obviously became my function. You mentioned some of the character Barney Miller's strengths, but what do you think his weaknesses were? Vanity. I gave him vanity. I put that in. I, you're always looking for something to, you know, he was uncomfortable, you know, he didn't want anybody to know he was, was wearing glasses, you know, uh, occasionally wore an ex extra, got up dressed in a suit and nobody noticed and it was really disturbing to him, things like that, you know. I just, you know, as you go along, you try to find chinks in the armor to, that, Give it, what, color, yeah. Um, in but he was a good family man, and I think he was a fair man. He recognized the insanity of life, that was the point, and tried to make sense out of it, and tried to run a, an organization that made sense out of it, was the point. Uh, Accommodating of other people's frailties and flaws. Uh, maybe a little too good for to be human, you know. But that's why I used to put in all these little, you know, colors, little chinks in his armor. I think how Lyndon would love to have been Barney. Hal Linden is much more, much less organized as a human being, much less, uh, much more uh, swayed by, you know, things that are going around me. Uh, not nearly in, as in charge a human being as, as Barney was. No, no, no. I, I aspired to Barney, but uh, and hopefully, my wife always said that I brought my roles home with me. I played, uh, you know, on Broadway, I played the devil, I played uh, Maya Rothschild, I played all kinds of characters, and every, and she always said, you always brought a little bit of a bit of it home, you know. Uh, and I, I, I hope I brought Barney home. 